Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in Switzerland in Locarno, which is in the south area of Switzerland, the Italian speaking part of it. And you can see the beautiful Alps are behind me over there as well. And in the next few days, I thought I'd show you around a little bit. This is my first visit here, but already I'm impressed. It's beautiful. Our hotel is beautiful as well. So I'll do a separate vlog for that. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see exactly where we're staying. But yeah, come along. It should be a nice few days. <laughs> look at this stunning view i mean stunning view that we have from our hotel i feel so incredibly grateful to be staying here for the next few days you can see the beautiful water down there as well and this is the hotel that we're staying at it's called hotel belvedere and uh, below us as well you can see some lovely greenery so overall it's just a phenomenal view and it gives us a great overview actually of Locarno in itself. We're here for a few days and the main reason that we've come here is just to be able to relax and get some fresh air as well because obviously being close to the mountains gives you better air than what I'm used to you know in London but um, yeah hopefully we'll get to see around Locarno a little bit as well maybe check out some of the restaurants the cafes if they have any museums around as well so yeah come along. We're in the historical center of Locarno at the moment and behind me you might be able to see this beautiful church and this is actually the church of Antonio Abati and from the outside it looks beautiful but we're gonna go and have a look inside as well beautiful and peaceful was that. I love going into churches from time to time even though I'm not religious I just enjoy the kind of feeling that I feel sometimes when I go inside them. It's very peaceful, it's very calming and I always feel quite small when I go into churches and I think that's why I enjoy going in them because it reminds me of the bigger picture. I know that's very very cheesy but that's why I like going in them and obviously the architecture of a lot of them as well is just so stunning and yeah there's quite a few churches here we might be able to see another one as well later on but even just by the church there's so many nice sceneries around there's lovely houses up there by the mountains there's a nice little cafe here with this beautiful centerpiece with the statue the name of the street as well is conveniently called the piazza di Sant antonio um, unfortunately my italian is basically minimal i don't speak italian i'd love to learn it though but um yeah we're just gonna keep walking just being able to see mountains everywhere you can see the mountains behind me over there it's stunning. It's, it's something that I don't really get a lot of in London, living there. And Switzerland has a lot of them. I love all these beautiful little alleyways over here that just lead to more beauty and more mountains, as you can see there in front of us. And up here as well, of course, we've got the clock, the bell of the church that we just went into. We found a little cafe, a tea room by the church called Manin, as you can see over there. We might have a little tea break, if you like, because they've got so many nice pastries inside. I'm guessing in Italian, snack bar is Pasti, pasticceria please if you're Italian or if you speak Italian leave a comment down below and correct me but there you go this is what the outside looks like again just a beautiful area of Locarno I mean Locarno is just overall is pretty but um, yeah this tea room over here where we're gonna be eating at is lovely too I think we might just uh, end up sitting outside though because it's a lovely day it really really is nice weather look at all these beautiful sweets and pastries they've got in this shop we've come here so many different kinds of chocolates of course we're in Switzerland the home the best place of chocolate Worldwide, we've got these lovely croissants and pastries. These look phenomenal. I quite like these as well. They seem to have some chocolates in them. They sell some pizzas as well. Loads of cute cakes, etc. Some mousses here. Some more cakes. Some pamarans over here. Locarno Amaretti, which is cute. A lot of, uh, what are these? Pandananas, it says. Um, yeah, this looks interesting. And there's some cakes over here as well again. Different variety of cakes. These croissants, honestly, look phenomenal. And I've already had my breakfast for the day, so I'm not too hungry. But they look so, so tempting. The pastries as well. Look at that one over there. Looks amazing. So we've just ordered ourselves some iced coffees, both myself and my lovely mum over there. And apparently it's called um, Cafe Latte Freddo Chacolato um, here. Again, correct me if I'm saying it wrong. And also a mousse tiramisu. We wanted a tiramisu, but they've run out of them because it's very, very popular. So our lovely waiter said this is the closest thing that they have here to a tiramisu. And it's a mousse tiramisu. Uh, we're not, we've not tried it yet, but it looks amazing. I love the little blue chocolate bit on top as well. So yeah, we're gonna have a taste this now. Mm. 
that is very very nice how cute is this little house over here i love the color of it the pastel blue and the fact that there's a nice little palm tree right next to it as well i've never been somewhere where there's been palm trees as well as obviously mountains as well i just find that so cool it's a, it's a nice combination to see palm trees something that you would normally associate with like being by the sea um, and also mountains as well and those those houses up there as well Imagine living here. One thing I always like to do when I visit a new city is to check out their local supermarkets just to see what kind of stuff they sell. Maybe some of you might be interested too. I just want to show you some of the fresh pastries they've got here in their supermarket. So, looks to be some sausage rolls over here, some croissants, more croissants, different variety of croissants, loads of croissants, of course. Um, yeah, oh, there's the donuts up there as well. Different kinds of donuts, some paninis it says here. There's a lot going on. Oh, look at these. They look really nice, some corn formaggio, so some cheesy uh, bread stuff, loads of different breads, baguettes, oh this one looks good, treccio al butto I believe it's called, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, loads of breads, different kinds of bread. Here they seem to have a variety of different biscuits, uh, some chocolate biscuits, original Dalvida uh, Choco Ole, so chocolate biscuits, which again, of course, chocolate in Switzerland is some of the best chocolate you will ever have. Loads of cheeses here as well, of course, different variety of cheeses. You can see the different types. This one's uh, Adler Tirole from Tirol, I guess. But yeah, here's some of the prices as well. Of course, you know, being in Switzerland, they use Swiss francs. Um, which is something that I'm actually very used to. If you didn't know, I was born in Geneva, which is a French-speaking part of Switzerland, so... I remember even from a young age, from when I was a child, being very familiar with Swiss money, so with uh, Swiss francs. Especially the five franc coins. I used to love them as a child. Sometimes we'd get some from our parents, just to be able to get, you know, a little toy from the vending machines around Geneva. I'll insert a photo here so you can see what the coin looks like, just in case you haven't seen it before. But it's just, you know, it brings back a lot of memories from my childhood, personally. Um, here we've got some more biscuits over here. This one's called Chocoli, original, again, from Switzerland. You can see the uh, Swiss flag there. Oh, these look nice. It says Action on them as well. I'm guessing it just means they're on sale at the moment. But yeah, if you're looking for good chocolate, good biscuits, good uh, cheese, of course, Switzerland is your best. And speaking of cheese, over there it says Formaggi, which I presume means uh, cheese. I guess it's similar to the French word for, for cheese, which is fromage. So again, wow, yeah, a variety of... Well, different kinds of meats and cheeses. Here we've got the cheeses, as you can see over here. Literally different um, different brands. This is the Walisha Muchli. I'm so sorry for the bad pronunciation. But there you go. This is from the Alps, by the looks of it. It says Alpstein Bergkäse. So different kinds of cheese. And the price, again, you can kind of get an idea of how expensive it is. Switzerland isn't very uh, cheap, unfortunately, but it's also definitely not the most expensive country in Europe, thankfully. There are honestly so many kinds of cheeses. I mean, so many varieties. I'm not too familiar with cheese, unfortunately, but if you're a cheese connoisseur, you'd love coming to a supermarket here or just anywhere in Switzerland, you know, restaurants, etc. These over here remind me of my childhood. These Kinder Pingwies, they sell them in a few different places in Europe. I used to have them a lot when I would visit Vienna to visit my family as a child. So it reminded me of my childhood. So they definitely sell them in Austria as well. Let me know if you've had them before. They're so, so tasty. And these ones here too, these Milchnitz. There you go, Milchnitz it says. These fully remind me of my childhood. Similar kind of vibe. It's almost like a cakey, chocolatey uh, sandwich with cream in it. They're so nice and a nice snack for kids as well here in uh, Europe. Anyway, I think that's more or less it for our little supermarket run. I just want to show you the main Swiss things that you maybe wouldn't find anywhere else, like the cheeses, the chocolates, etc. And speaking of chocolates, I do have one more thing to show you. Here you can see the variety of biscuits and chocolatey biscuits that you can find in a supermarket here in Locarno, Switzerland. These look phenomenal, very much Swiss. Again, chocolat, so chocolate or sorry, milk chocolate. And then here on the other side, We've got some more chocolates as well. These look really nice. Let's have a look. Kalia, which is again a Swiss brand of chocolate, chocolat noir. So this is obviously um, dark chocolate over here. But they've got a variety of different ones. This one's a milk one over here, and then vegan ones as well. Well, that's nice. It's really nice to see some vegan options actually in supermarkets. I don't tend to see it a lot in France. I think. France, unfortunately, is quite behind, you know, vegan and vegetarian options. But it's nice to see that Switzerland at least has some options. I know that Austria does have a lot of options. If you would like me to, actually, I can do another video like this, maybe showing you around a supermarket in Austria because I visit Austria 
quite a lot too. This is nice. Chocolate bananas. Chocolate bananas, of course, quite a lot of kinder as well. Oh, these are really nice. Let me know in the comments if you've had these before, but they are very, very tasty. I definitely recommend them. You know, when I was speaking about small little alleyways earlier, in the historic part of Locarno. We're in another one right now. They have a few different shops around and interestingly, quite a lot of the shops actually have sales on, which is good. I mean, we're not gonna be doing some shopping. We're just wandering around, having a look at everything. And one thing I really appreciate and love about these small cities are the actual buildings as well and how colorful they are. So look at that. Like you've got some pink ones over there with the beautiful blue sky. There's a yellow one here. There's an orange one on the other side and a blue one. It's just so beautiful. Look at these beautiful postcards here as well these artistic postcards. I think they're made by uh, Gail Boissonnat, probably is the name of the artist here. I love seeing things like this. Again, you know, I'm not gonna buy any of them, but it's nice to see it there. There you go. It, the artist is Gael Boissonnat Collection. They're very, very cute. There's so many of them as well. So many different colors. I feel like it kind of, oh, this one's nice. It goes well with the alleyway that we're in as well with the different colors. This is like a, is it like a mother and a daughter situation, perhaps. They're very, very sweet. And they actually have quite a lot of clothes shops here as well. And as you can see here, Saldi, I'm guessing just means sale um, in Italian. So a lot of these places are selling things for a very, very decent price, actually. But we're now looking for an art museum that they have in Locarno. My mom really wants to check the museum out. And hopefully she'll find it soon. I mean, Locarno is quite small, so it's easy to actually walk around. And my map is showing me that it's meant to be somewhere here nearby. That's actually where we were trying to head to earlier. And we got distracted by these beautiful alleyways. <laughs> and it looks like it's just over there. The Museo Casarisca is the name of it. It's funny because it's right next to the church that we were in earlier. So we've kind of just walked around for nothing, which has been nice to be fair. You know, we've seen quite a lot, but this seems to be the museum. These are the hours, as you can see. It's normally open in the mornings and in the afternoon for a few hours as well. And as you can see, they do have a little lunch break in between for a couple of hours. Here yeah, we're gonna head inside and if I can film, I'll film. Otherwise I'll talk about it a little bit when I come out. So we just bought our tickets. This was 15 Swiss francs for an adult. And I think you can get discounts if you kind of, you know, opt to buy a variety of different tickets at once. But we're just going to probably check out this museum in the few days that we're here on this trip anyway. short but interesting exhibition the artist that they were exhibiting today i believe it changes every week was a girl called malina suleiman who was born in afghanistan and i believe after a few years she had to flee afghanistan and take refuge in the netherlands in eindhoven i believe is what it says she lives right now which is actually really cool i have been to eindhoven before a few years ago with my friend marie but um yeah it was quite political her paintings are quite political and as somebody who obviously you know has roots in iran which is a neighboring country to afghanistan I found it quite interesting to be fair but as i mentioned earlier it's obviously changing so i believe they change them weekly so i think from tomorrow they actually have a new exhibition on i from a different artist it's not a huge museum by any means um, but i like seeing any kind of artwork especially from like new artists as well um this girl melina was born in 1990 so she's the same age as me and she's done some really really cool interesting artworks and yeah i enjoyed it i thought it was worth 15 uh, i was about to say to your euros 15 francs right so we've come by the lake here as you can see over here i think it's called called Lake Maggio. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, feel free to correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Obviously, this is my very first time in Locarno, but it's beautiful. The views that you get from here is stunning. The water itself is just so calm and you don't really see much going on on there. They do have some boats actually, which you might get on one maybe tomorrow because it'd be nice to kind of get on the water and maybe go off to an island for an hour or so but overall it just looks so beautiful. So, so stunning. I could honestly watch this scenery for hours and hours on end.
they actually do have quite a lot of benches as well for people just to sit on these benches and relax and enjoy the scenery and some restaurants here as well by the looks of it. I feel very very lucky to be here. Um, I don't get to do things like this a lot and I feel like it's important from time to time just to just to relax, not do too much and just take it all in. The scenery around you, fresh air as well, oh my god, the air here is phenomenal. It's something that I have missed, again, as somebody who lives in London. Obviously air pollution in London is not great, but um, here is just amazing, it really is. And again, you can see the beautiful palm trees here, which I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them. I think it's just the idea, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog, the idea of seeing palm trees by the mountains, the Alps, as you can see there behind me, is something that I never realized was even possible. And that's probably me just being ignorant, but I just find it so cool. Here's another hotel over there. The hotel seems to have its own restaurant there as well. Some more palm trees. Oh, you can hear the seagulls as well, which I love. And then there's a boat off there. I don't know where it's going. And yeah, I think this is where we need to come tomorrow potentially if we want to get on a little boat as well. But if you've watched so far, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below and just let me know of similar places to Locarno or if you've visited Locarno before, if you've got any suggestions for things to do. Because I think I'd definitely love to revisit this place someday. I mean, we're only staying here for about three or four days, so it's not a, a long, you know, trip but I think it's so needed for the soul and I'd love to know if you've got any recommendations of similar places, places that aren't too big, not like extreme city vibes, but also not like beach holidays. I'm not really into beach holidays. I prefer places that have mountains and water and just fresh air and also not too crowded either. Um, I'd love to hear your recommendations maybe for our next trip. That spot over there looks like a nice relaxing area as well. And you can see quite a lot of ducks in the water. The water just looks so clean. It's really nice to see. There you go. There's a duck going past. Hello, Mr. Duck. Hope you're doing well. But for now, I think we're going to enjoy strolling by this view, enjoying the mountains, the lake as well, and just the fresh air that comes with this beautiful Locarno. just come out of the Gisla Art Museum or Gisla Art Collection if you like which was in this beautiful red building behind me that you saw and it had a collection of quite, quite a lot of actually phenomenal artists, uh, modern artists mainly. There were some pieces by Picasso, by Andy Warhol, Basquiat who is one of my favourite artists personally and the idea behind it as well I thought was quite cool. I think it just opened in 2014 if I'm not mistaken and basically uh, there was a couple, I think the name is probably Gisela couple um, and yeah they had a collection collection of art that they wanted to display because they thought you know we have all this art pieces why not actually share it with the world and that's you know how it, this place came to be and one of the cool features about it is actually j literally just the building the building itself that is fully red it's almost like a like a full-on red cube if that makes sense um, you can't like miss it and yeah I enjoyed it we spent maybe about 20 minutes or so in there so it's not very big but it's definitely worth seeing if you enjoy art and if you want to just have some culture when you're here visiting Locarno. Anyway, right opposite the museum, the art museum that we were just in, we've got this beautiful park area. I mean, this this place is just stunning. Locarno, I have genuinely fallen in love with you. Look at that. Look at this view. And again, they've got these beautiful red benches for people 
they want us to sit down, maybe read a book, enjoy the scenery. But this view right now is, 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 is what it's all about, it really is. I mean, the mountains, the mountains and the greenery and the fresh air. And today's actually been um, a little bit less sunny than yesterday. Tomorrow's meant to be sunny again, but it's still nice and warm, you know. Today's the 3rd of September 2022, in case you're wondering of the time, in case you hope to come here maybe next uh, summer, next September. The weather's been really, really nice actually the past couple of days. Also, one thing that really fascinates me about Locarno, and I've mentioned this a few times in the vlog, is just the greenery and the different kinds of plants and trees they've got going on here because look at that. They've literally got cacti or cactuses um, here in Locarno and you can see the mountains again up there and right next to it there are some palm trees and I don't know I just never thought it would be possible like for the climate to you know be able to nourish so many different kinds of plants in the same area I find it so cool Also you can hear the sounds of the bells I'm, I'm pretty sure we must be close to a church possibly but it is uh, evening time close to evening time I think it's around 5.30, 6pm so we are going to try and find a restaurant to eat something because we haven't really had any proper food today apart from an early breakfast which you can check out the breakfast that we had as well in a separate video that I'm making about the hotel on our way to the restaurant I thought I'd show you the clouds as well today it's so cool seeing them kind of with the backdrop of the mountains obviously because the weather's not been quite as sunny today and obviously a bit more cloudy you can see the clouds a bit lower down and I just love it it's ridiculous how interesting it looks to me anyway just finished our meal at Senzi, the restaurant that we had our dinner at, um, like an Italian restaurant that was actually recommended to us by one of the staff members at our hotel for this trip, Hotel Belvedere in Locarno. Um, he said it's really good, as he recommended it to us, and it was really good. I had a burger, my mom had, what, what was the food that you had? My mom had a beef cannelloni and she was really happy with her food. I enjoyed my burger a lot. The, the meat was fantastic. Um, it's on the menu from a Swiss cow. So well done to that Swiss cow. Sorry to the, any vegetarians and vegans watching. But yeah, the food was really good. Um, service was pretty good as well. It wasn't phenomenal, but it was good. Um, yeah, Price-wise, a little bit maybe expensive, but also, again, not too expensive. But just not as... Not as affordable maybe as what you would expect in a normal Italian restaurant for instance in the UK but the food quality was really good. Also we noticed a lot of locals come here as well actually which is good you know I, I always think when you come to a restaurant that locals themselves enjoy it probably means that it's uh, at least a good a good restaurant. And we are now back out of the restaurant and it's actually only 18.50 10 minutes to 7 p.m. So as you can see, still uh, quite light outside. I love Locarno, I really do. I don't know how many times I've said it in this vlog, but um, it's just so nice. It's very quiet, it's very peaceful. It's so different to the life that I'm used to in the hustle and bustle of London. Also, just over there, you can see a few different flags in front of us, which my guess is they're the different flags of the different cantons in Swiss, Switzerland, if you like. Um, I might be wrong, but I know for a fact that that one, the second one from the left, sorry, Carl's just going past. There you go, yeah, that one over there, which you can't even tell properly. I might insert the photo so you can see exactly what it looks like. That's the canton of Geneva, which is the canton, the city where I was born. Hello, good morning. So it's our last full day here in Locarno 
and I still can't get over the beautiful scenery that we have here in this beautiful city in Switzerland. But today I wanted to check out a church, I think it's the most famous church here in Locarno, it's called the Madonna Church, and it's actually not that far from our hotel, which is the Belvedere Hotel Locarno, so we do need to get a kind of cable car of some sort to actually get to the church. Look at this phenomenal view again this morning and I believe this is where the cable cars come to take us all the way up it's actually not too far up but you can see the beautiful church up there I'm guessing it's probably gonna take about five minutes if that and I think it looks like the train or the cable car as they call it here should be arriving soon because uh, the thing started moving there you go you can see it just behind me coming up and the price for this actually for a return ticket on the cable car train to go to the church and back was seven francs for both of us so seven francs so three uh, 3.5 francs each close now to the actual church. It looks amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like up close. We've got the sign here. It's, I think its official name is Sacro Monte Madonna del Sasso. We're very up high as well and the church is actually over there so I think we actually have to kind of go down a little bit. You can, have, you can hear the bells. This is actually... This is... <laughs> we are right by the church now and I just want to give you some information about the church. Um, they do have some information both in Italian and German and I'm just going to read the German bit, the Kirche Santa Maria, so basically this is called the Santa Maria Assunta Church and apparently it's the most important church in the Tessin Canton which is where Locarno is and also it was built in the year 1485 so it's a very old church and I think that just the name of the area is Madonna del Sasso and the actual church is the Church of Santa Maria but um, yeah we literally came down from there it was a bit counterproductive obviously getting the train all the way up and then having to come back down again and after this after we visited we're gonna have to go all the way back up again to get the train or the cable car to go back to our hotel so maybe it's best to just walk to be fair but my mom I'm here with my mom and she can't walk you know far distances because she's got a lot of knee problems unfortunately so that's why we took the train but yeah let's head inside
so I've just come out of the church. Uh, I spent quite a while in there. It's one of the most interesting and beautiful and unique churches I've ever been inside. I mean, the artwork, the paintings, the combination of architecture as well, and just the artworks especially, the, the different kinds of artworks from the different centuries of the saints, you know, the angels, the colors that they'd use inside. It was beautiful. It was, I'm so glad we did this. Like, um, a lot of people come to Locarno and I think, you know, just kind of try and relax, but this church, is definitely definitely worth seeing and just the fact that it was built so many centuries ago like i said in the 1400s and the view that you get as well obviously this is uh, on top of a mountain almost like one of the highest parts of the mountains that we're on at the moment it's it's pretty incredible the history of it is just insane anyway we are gonna head down now it's uh close to 1 p.m close to 1 p.m and i think we might stop by in a cafe maybe get something to drink cable car slash cable train back to the Belvedere Hotel. At the moment it's empty. On the way up it was very very busy so it's a bit suspicious. We're not sure if we need to just wait a bit longer for other people to come or maybe we just end up being the only people on the train. But it's nice. It's going to be downward this time. And just like that we've come to the end of our little trip here to Locarno. Today is the 5th of September 2022. It's our last morning here. We leave in about half an hour, getting a train from Locarno to Zurich and then flying from Zurich back to London. But I wanted to show you this view one last time. We're definitely going to come back. We, both of us, my mum and I have fallen, fallen in love with the hotel and Locarno as a city as well. It's been amazing. We were only here for about three or four days, so not too long. Um, and there were definitely things that we still would have liked to do. Like so we didn't get to go on the boats for instance because the one day that we had kind of put aside for it was quite rainy so hopefully we can come back at some point um and yeah that is it more or less i hope you enjoyed this vlog though let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to locarno if it's ever been on your radar if it's somewhere that you would like to visit in the future um anything that you would like to say basically about this trip as well any questions if i can help you i will but for now here's one last look at this beautiful view of the city of Locarno from the Belvedere Hotel which you can see the sign of. As I've mentioned a few times in this video if you would like to see a full tour of the Hotel Belvedere in Locarno I do have a separate video for that so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss it when it's out but thank you so much for watching this video I know it's obviously a bit different to my normal Disney content but I'd like to share some of my travels from time to time as well but yeah I appreciate you follow me on Instagram subscribe for more videos like this and like this video if you enjoyed it I will see you in the next video bye bye